This video will show you how to use HealthDirect for video interpreting. After accepting a video interpreting booking with all graduates, you can expect to receive a confirmation email with the details of your booking. This will include the link you will need to access to join the video call, what information you will need to enter, as well as our general guidelines for video interpreting. This email will also include the link to your service delivery form, which needs to be filled in upon completion of all video interpreting bookings. On the day of your booking, we ask that you log in around 10 minutes prior to the start time, so that an All Graduates Video Interpreting Coordinator can connect to you for a quick test call. This is done to ensure that we can see and hear you well, as well as to answer any questions that you may have. You can find the link that you will need to access in your confirmation email. Please click on this link 10 minutes before the start of your booking. This should now open a page in your web browser. Please click on Start Video Call to begin the login process. You will see several fields that you will need to fill in. These will vary depending on which client the booking is for. However, the information you will need to enter will always be provided to you. You must enter this information exactly as written in your confirmation email or text message. Generally, in the first name box you will need to enter the word interpreter, the language you are interpreting for, and your first name. In the last name box you will enter the patient's full name and UR number. This is to help the client identify who you are there to interpret for. You will also enter our video interpreting support number in the phone number field. This way, if the client needs to make contact, they will come through to our team who can decide how to best assist them. You do not need to enter the date of birth, address or email. You can either leave these fields blank or put the number zero. Once you have entered all the required information, you will need to accept the terms of use and privacy policy by clicking on the box to the left. You can then continue to the next step. You will now see a page titled Important Information. As this was written mainly for patients, the majority of this will not apply to interpreters. You can proceed to the call by clicking Continue. You will now be placed in the call queue. You should see your image and hear hold music. You will need to wait for the All Graduates Coordinator to start the video call. This may take a moment or two. When the call has started, you should see both yourself and the All Graduates Coordinator. In the top left corner of your video, you will see two icons representing your camera and microphone. From here, we can mute and unmute our microphone and turn off and back on our camera. At the top right hand corner, you will see a button called Tools. You should not be required to use these tools during the course of your interpreting session. To the right of this, you will see the chat button. HealthDirect's chat function can be useful for communicating if there are any issues with the audio or if the professional wishes to share any written information. If you experience any issues with the video or audio during your interpreting session, you can refresh the call by clicking on the circular arrow button in the top left hand corner of your screen. If you would like to make any changes to which camera and microphone are being used during the call, you can do so by accessing the Settings button to the left. If there is more than one option for your camera, microphone and speaker, they can be selected here from the drop-down menu. HealthDirect also allows you to customize your video quality. We recommend that you leave the default option Adaptive selected, as this will adapt your video quality to suit your network conditions. We also recommend leaving the language settings and advanced options on their default settings. When you have finished the test call with an All Graduates Coordinator, you will be placed on hold and will need to wait for the professional to connect to you. This may take some time. Please leave this page open and wait for the meeting to start. If more than 20 minutes have passed and the meeting still has not started, please contact our video interpreting support team for assistance. If you have been instructed by an All Graduates Coordinator to end the call, you can do so by clicking on the red Hang Up button in the top left of your screen and confirming that you wish to leave the call.